Hello YouTube. Today I would like to discuss an important topic with you every now and then I'd like to give you an update on how I'm walking and discuss an important topic about cerebral palsy and this one is a good one because it's easy to become bitter when you have cerebral palsy because things are physically more challenging, things are awkward publicly. Uh, you know, there's certain things physically that you would like to be able to do, but are unable to do. And uh, they come easy for other people and they don't come easy for you. So I'm going to tell you how I don't become bitter uh, because of these sort, sort of things. Uh, so, I, uh, first of all, physically. It's important that we don't become, we're not, in physical pain, constant physical pain. It's something easy to, uh, to be in when you have cerebral palsy. But something that I've gotten is these forearm crutches and they really do help with physical pain. I'm not in nearly as much physical pain when I walk a few miles with these as when I don't have them. My lower back will hurt if I don't have them and my legs will hurt because I'll put in a lot of a lot of pressure on my legs. So I like using those form crutches. It helps because it helps with the pain. And it's important that we don't have pain because when we have pain, it's easy to become bitter. It's hard to fight off bitterness when you're in constant pain. Uh, also doing something professionally that doesn't require pain, you might love you know, doing something that is physically demanding. But I think it's important that we steer clear from those sort of professions because I would rather have a profession that I hate that I'm sitting down to do than something that I'm standing up constantly. It's just not worth the pain that I would go through. Uh, when I was younger, I kind of had a different philosophy before I was in the workforce. But now I, I have that attitude and uh, I think it's important that we're not in physical pain because it's easy to become bitter when we are. So that's one, that's, those are a few of the things how I avoid physical pain. Now how I avoid the you know social awkwardness, I think it's important that we realize that everyone was created uniquely. and. Uh, if we have that attitude rather than, man, if I didn't have cerebral palsy, I would be able to do so much more. Or if I had, if I didn't have cerebral palsy, I would be like the most social person ever. Or if I didn't have cerebral palsy, I would be a professional musician. Or I would be a dancer. I would be an athlete. It's important that we don't live like what if, but because you could always say, well, what if I had this sort of disability and lived in North Korea? What if I lived in Zimbabwe? What if I lived in Somalia? You'd be lucky to still be alive. Or what if your disability is worse? You can always, um, you can always also look at it that way. And um, I just think it's important that we are happy with the way God created us. Not everybody's perfect, but God is perfect. And I think it's important that we, we realize that when, when we are trying to avoid having bitterness. And obviously I'm still young, I'm still in my 20s. I hope that I continue to have this attitude throughout life. But I just wanna leave you with this. It's something my dad taught me when I was younger. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. Sooner or later, the man who wins is a man who thinks he can. Thank you. Have a nice day.